What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's a bit chilly out here, but we're gonna fire things up. We're here today in the garage to do our first modifications to our brand new 2024 S650 Mustang. Let's rock and roll, let's go. All right, so hood is up. Time for our first modifications to our brand new 24 Mustang GT. We wanna get the car ready to support big power. This is a performance package car. There's a lot of good things about it, but we can always improve upon the foundation. It is better than the S550 performance package, but we have a long way to go as far as what I want from the build. This time around, we're not just gonna be doing like straight line speed stuff, okay? I want this car to be able to turn. What we're gonna be doing on this car, something that we have not done before is really focus on suspension first. Take things step by step and show you the build, show you the process as we go, little bit by little bit by little bit, and that way you guys can see what works, what does not, because this is a brand new Mustang GT. A lot of things are different from the S550, so we want to be able to learn and tell the story and translate on camera what works, what does not, what we like, what we don't, so on and so forth. Finally, we are Team Blue. We're gonna go Steeda, and it even gets better. I'm to be able to save you guys some money if you go to steedit.com and plug in discount code Xander at checkout. It's going to save you some money. I'm all about saving you money so that you can mod more. So we got some lowering springs. We're gonna be doing something different, something new. I've always had linear in the past, but we're gonna be doing the Steeda progressives. And so far, these are like the hotness for the S650 all over the internet. And uh, you know, I've never done a progressive spring, so we're gonna give it a shot. But we're gonna take it a little bit further than what most people are doing. And that is the rest of these boxes here. So let's get this out of the way and show you what else we got in here? We're gonna be building this thing to get it kind of track ready. I want to do more with this car than just straight line speed. We got some shocks, got a strut. Guys, we are doing the Steeda Pro Action shocks and struts combined with their lowering springs and also with their camber plates. Something definitely worth having. I mean, when you're doing shock struts and lowering springs, you might as well go ahead and pick up these two. They're not that much money and they will allow you to have the freedom to play with your alignment. Steeda swag here and got another goodie inside of the car we've already installed. And just for fun, nice little shift knob here. This is gonna be my first time wrenching on a 2024 Mustang. I'm not gonna bore you to death with the install. I'll just kind of highlight things as I go, as I find them to maybe be different than the S550. These brakes are freaking massive. So on a performance package, GT350, GT500 size, I mean, they're massive. Other things that are really cool about the performance package is you do have actual brake cooling ducts. That's pretty much carried over from the Mach 1. Pretty neat to be able to see that on a regular GT car, not a Shelby. On the struts and the shocks, pretty good. They're pretty good. But we still have some floating at speed and some unpredictability. It's a linear factory spring and I don't really fault the spring for that. I mean, the right height, sure, we're gonna lower it, but as far as the control of the suspension, the pitch and roll and everything, a lot of that does come down to shocks and struts. So the cool thing about the Steedas, let me grab one real quick. So most people will not upgrade to these, but here's why you should. These are definitely going to be an improvement over the factory stuff, okay? There's a lot of science and technology built into these things and they are track tested. Steeda like really highlights that they track test and design all their stuff to their specifications. So these are definitely going to be an upgrade for not only just the S550 guys, but the S650 as well, because that was my big question is, okay, we have a new platform, are the factory shocks and struts gonna be any better than last year? And yes and no, but these are definitely going to be a big improvement over all of it. They also have adjustable versions of these if you want to run their dual rate springs. They've also got drag specific springs and shocks available as well. So for all you straight line guys, supposed to be a massive improvement over factory, like I was saying. So we're gonna be putting this to the test. We're gonna see how this car looks, how it sits with these new springs. Is it gonna be the right height that we're looking for? Is it gonna be too low? Is it gonna be too high? Stay tuned towards the end of the video. 
for the walk around. And the next video after this one, we're gonna be putting these things on the road and doing a road test. Do I think it's any different? Do I think it's much improved? Stay tuned. Honestly, I mean, the old rule of thumb is anytime that you do lowering springs, you really should be looking into an upgraded shock and strut to control that spring rate. The compression and the rebound, this is gonna do a far better job than the factory stuff. And like I said, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel down below so you can stay up to date with the videos. Maybe this is something that you want to add to your build. We'll find out in the next video when we do the driving review how good these things really are. First time it's all been coming apart. 15 millimeter. <clears throat> yeah, that weighs a lot more. Here is the look of S650 stuff so far with all of that big stuff out of the way. So a little bit more going on here, different than S550. So like this is completely different. Got a little bit of air deflection here. This is a non magnaride car. So we're gonna get all this out of the way. Sway bar, that sway bar is massive. Of course, we're gonna be upgrading that at some point too, to like a Stita adjustable, get the feeling out of the car that we want. So this is gonna be a really fun project. Look at this piece down here, I just noticed. Okay, so this arm here, is like way beefier than I remember it being before. Everything under this car is just beefier. Pretty impressive, honestly. Now we are gonna reuse some of this. We need the bump stops out of it. We need this dust boot cover and we need the lower, not the top, but we need the lower half of this top piece. Actually, this is about a three or four hour job. It's really not that bad. Sure that you don't damage the inside of that with all those ball bearings in there. Whenever you take it apart, you want this to move freely. Then you're going to take your new camber plate and it just literally sits in here like that. Now when you put it in the car, you're going to be able to have camber adjustability. So this is going to give you all of the adjustment that you'll ever need. When you're installing everything, make sure that you have your bump stops cut about one inch and then make sure that you also have that little nylon spacer. Put your dust cover on, you'll be good to go. This is gonna go tech stop, so it's only gonna fit one way on the strut, so don't mess it up. We got the camber plates installed. Everything looks really good. Install is complete. We have it freshly aligned. Let's get out here and take a look and see how this thing looks in the daylight. Let's go. new suspension from Steeda on our new Mustang and I've got a lot to say good things coming up in the next video so make sure that you are paying attention to the channel how does this compare to the factory performance pack shock strut springs all of that we're gonna try to answer in the next video but for this one I mean take a look at it this thing is sitting low guys probably the lowest sitting Mustang I've ever personally owned. They do have different options. So if this is a little bit too low for you, if you want maybe another half inch or quarter inch of height, Steeda does have offerings for that. So they also have cool things like spacers. If, so if you've already invested in a spring and you want a little bit more ride height to really customize the height that you want, they have some cool options for you on the website. Remember, go check out Steeda.com and use promo code Xander at checkout to save a bunch of money. This is the Progressive Sport non magna ride spring. It is very aggressive. So we do have spacers on the wheels so far, because I know people were gonna point that out. 25 millimeter, they're hub centric, so they're completely safe. And this is just really honestly a temporary thing until we get wide wheels and tires, but it does make the stance look quite a bit better. So if you have 
a different set of wheels with proper offset to make them flush with the fenders. This is kind of how it's going to look with this spring setup. Very aggressive here. Still get pretty much about a solid finger in between there. And then if we come to the rear, it's pretty aggressive you got about a half a finger. All right, so Steeda does have a bunch of different spring options, so it's not just a progressive sports. If you're a Magna Ride car, you're gonna sit a tad higher than this. Um, they also have linear rate springs, like a minimal drop. You have a bunch of hills, uh, rough roads, or if you want just a tad bit higher of a ride height on a 2024, then you might want to go with a minimal drop. Again, reach out to our friends at Steeda and they will be able to point you in the right direction. Now, with that said, these springs will fit S550, that's where they came from, but they will ride a little bit higher on those cars. The 24s, for whatever reason, sit lower with every single spring out there in the aftermarket. Yeah, again, just trying to keep things as detailed as possible in this video. The 2024s, for some reason, the back fits pretty well from the factory but the front is like way high in the air. So when we put these springs on here, we lost like almost two inches. I mean, it was pretty significant. So I think it looks really good. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? Is this your cup of tea? And then let me know your experience with Steeda and what your favorite spring is out there because it all goes back to the community. Let's have a conversation. Let's keep each other informed. What works, what doesn't? What did you like on the S550? What is your opinion about some of these new products coming out for the S650? That way people can learn and then we can just keep this thing as a, uh, a live document going forward to include all the rest of the videos. So get ready for the next video. How does this compare? What are my thoughts? How does this compare to the factory performance package, shock struts and springs? Is this an improvement or is it just a comfortable trade-off to be determined? Make sure you stay tuned to the channel so you don't miss the content. I'll see you guys in the next one. God bless all of you out there. Have a great day. Goodbye.